A senior U.S. lawmaker whose approval paved the way for the Joe Biden administration formally notifying U.S. Congress of the proposed sale of MQ-9B Sea Guardian drone has said that he has in return extracted a commitment from the administration that India will fully cooperate in the investigation of the murder for hire case in which an Indian official is alleged to have tried to kill a Khalistani activist. The decks are clear now for the smooth passage of the deal through Congress, which has 30 days to either do nothing and let the administration take it to the next stage or kill it through a hold by leaders of the Foreign and Armed Services Committee of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The former is controlled now by the Democrats and the later by the Republicans. The administration notified the U.S. Congress on Thursday that it proposes to sell 31 MQ-9B drones made by General Atomics to India for nearly $4 billion. The deal was announced way back in June last year by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Joe Biden. The U.S. Department of Justice then unsealed an indictment in November accusing Nikhil Gupta, an Indian businessman, of trying to hire a man who turned out to be an official of the Drugs Enforcement Agency to kill a prescribed outfit as six for justice chief Gurpatman Singh Pannu. Ben Gordon, a chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, said in a statement on Friday that he has been in talks with the Biden administration for months to extract this commitment of Indian cooperation. Democrats, on the other hand, have been outraged by the Department of Justice allegations about the Indian plot to kill the Khalistani activist. Democratic Indian American members of the House of Representatives, Ro Khanna, Pramila Jaipal, Raja Krishnamurti, Ami Bera, and Sri Thanedar went as far as to issue a statement which warned India that its reluctance or failure to cooperate in the U.S. investigation could damage ties between the two countries. 